You know, I really do miss Nintendo Directs. Don't get me wrong, it's fine that Nintendo isn't doing them right now, but I miss the excitement leading up to the full Nintendo Directs. The excitement of speculation of what are we gonna see at this new Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct Partners showcases and mini Nintendo Directs just don't give me that excitement. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robo Chan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. So before we start, I just want to tell you guys that we've passed 9,000 subscribers and we are already well on our way to 10,000 subscribers, which is just insane. If you told me that I could be at 10,000 subscribers anytime before last October, I would have called you crazy. I just want to say thank you for everyone who's been watching the videos and leaving those comments and likes to push the videos into the algorithm. On to 10,000 guys. So in this video, we're going to talk about some new findings that point toward a Nintendo Direct and other findings that could point to possibly when this Nintendo Direct could be. I think we also need to talk about what kind of Nintendo Direct it will be as well. So Nintendo Directs used to be this huge event, almost Christmas-like for us Nintendo fans who enjoy them. Whenever a rumor or leak or even an Nintendo Direct announced directly from Nintendo happened, we would all rush with our guesses on what exactly was going to be shown at this new Nintendo Direct. But unfortunately, the bug hit the world at a thousand miles per hour and it kind of made Nintendo rethink how they go about promoting their games. If you remember when the bug was at its peak, if I recall correctly anyways, Nintendo themselves came out in an investor meeting and said that they were trying to find new ways to promote their games other than Nintendo Directs. This started the conversation among Nintendo Direct fans on the possibility of no full Nintendo Directs in the future and instead more or less the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcases that we've been getting. And of course, the Nindies Showcases. I do love my indie games. This kind of left full Nintendo Directs in the dark with huge games like Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4 and other games still being so secretive. It was a huge bummer. But recently, a glimmer of hope has appeared in the form of a job listing. Now, for the past couple of videos, I've been saying that the vaccine is here and things could start changing. And moving towards, more or less anyways, what it was before the bug. Now, of course, this depends on where you live and other other factors as well, but this might be the first glimmer of hope with hopefully more to come. So here's what comic book gaming is saying as well as the description of course. That said, while the pandemic hasn't been brought under control yet, it looks like Nintendo is beginning to prepare when it is and for when normality returns. A recent job listing for associated AV producer mentions that applicants should expect to assist with filming live action footage for use in Nintendo Directs and other content marketing initiatives. So to break this down real quick, the assist to filming live action footage for use in Nintendo Directs is pretty obvious on what it means. They want people for Nintendo Directs. But take a look at the rest of that sentence, other content market initiatives. This means Nintendo is planning to use these hirees in future content, which is a sign, a small sign, a very small sign, but still a sign that Nintendo is in a much better place than say three or four months ago. Which is good because E3 is coming up and it would be cool to get some news on all these Nintendo Switch games. Nintendo Switch games like Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4 and Breath of the Wild 2 and maybe, just maybe, a couple unknown surprises that they have for us. Now, this has brought up the topic of Nintendo Directs coming soon, and here is my thought process on that. Seeing as this is a job listing, and I'm sure that they would have to hire the employee and go through all the employment processes, and of course recording the scenes and so on, that stuff is gonna take time. I don't personally think that Nintendo would plan a Nintendo Direct and not have all the pieces together to put together quickly. It would probably take some time to plan the Direct, make them record the scenes, and get the trailer, and so on. So unfortunately, I personally I personally don't think a Nintendo Direct is coming soon, but I do think we will get one maybe in March or near the end of this month, which I guess could be considered soon, depending on who you talk to. But my version of soon is like within the next week or two. And I don't think this March Direct or February Direct would be a full Nintendo Direct. I think it's going to be a partner showcase. And the reason behind this is Bravely Default is coming out this month. We will probably get another trailer for that. They probably want to promote that game. Plus, there was a Gamefly leak that has a third party game, Plants vs. Zombies, for the Nintendo Switch. and of of course, Kingdom of Almars is coming to the Nintendo Switch as well. And those two games do come out in March. So just keep your eye out on the Nintendo Twitter account and of course subscribe to my channel and have that notification bell on so you can be kept up on the latest gaming news. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video or dislike if not. And of course, leave your comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys and remember, stay safe, stay charged and have a good one.